Hey guys. Okay, so we set up our background last time on those two views here, and now the buttons kind of look out of place. So what we're going to do is we're going to skin these buttons kind of to match the background and give it a little bit more of a cohesive feel. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually bring in our images that we want to skin the button with. And in this case, I'm going to go to the over to my images folder and then add files. And you can see I created two files here, one that's a normal, which is how the button's actually going to display normally, and then a button click. So when you press down on the button, this image is going to appear. So we're going to select both of those and add those. Okay. Now we're going to come over to our button here, click on it, and go over to the property section. And you can see this drop down right here where it says state config. Right now it's on default. And then there's a highlighted. So these two states right here are the ones we're going to mess around with a little bit. And the default state is going to be the actual default state when the the view controller loads and you see the button for the first time and it's not doing anything it's just gonna look that way and then the highlighted state is actually gonna be when you're clicking down on the button so let's go to our default state let's come down to the background image right here and we're gonna click on that drop down and then we're gonna click on button normal and as you can see it changed the background of the button. Okay. Now you can see if we click on the view, you can see the text is a little hard to read and we kind of want it to match the button itself. So we're going to click on our button again and we're going to come up to the text color and we're going to change that to white. That looks a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to the second button down here. I'm going to stay in default. I'm going to change the background to button normal. And I'm going to change the text color to white. All right. Now when we run our app, you can see that we have two buttons, but if you click on it, it just kind of dims it out and doesn't really do anything special. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the selected or highlighted state to the buttons. So we're going to click on our button again, go to the highlighted state, come down to the background image, and we're going to choose button click. And we're going to do the same thing for that second button. Okay, and now when we run our app, you can see that the button changes colors when you click it. 